Welcome to the online version of DD Form 2648, your pre-separation counseling checklist. With each topic, beginning with number 10, Effects of a Career Change, you will see and hear a presentation running about 90 seconds or less in length that provides an overview of the potential benefit of a program or service designed specifically for separating military service members and their families. At the conclusion of each topic's presentation, you will be asked if you would like to learn more. Consider your needs and interest and then select yes or no. You may change your answer as long as you do not select continue. Once you select continue, you may not go back and the next presentation will begin. If you run out of time before finishing the pre-separation counseling checklist, the system will automatically bookmark your exit point and return to the presentation where you had logged out of the system. At the end of the presentations, you should contact your ACAP Center for a copy of your completed form. The form will help determine the actions you need to take as you plan your transition. 10. Effects of a Career Change Your military career has been both challenging and rewarding. Now you are ready for a new career. Because you want to be confident the decisions you make about your future are the right ones, you may experience stress or anxiety as a result of change, problems, and even opportunities. Stress is not an attitude. It is a physical response to a situation that, if ignored, can lead to conflict, mental and physical exhaustion, or even serious illness. Some of the indicators of stress are constant fatigue, headaches, trouble sleeping or sleeping too much, stomach problems, feeling nervous, and a desire to be alone. If you find you just can't seem to move forward, consider seeking assistance to help you. Now is a good time to begin to think about the changes that lie ahead and plan for dealing with stress before it becomes a reality. There are many professionals available for you to speak with, and many agencies exist to help you with your transition and the stress you may experience. There are also agencies off the installation that can help. These centers are staffed with professionals experienced and trained in providing mental health and readjustment counseling to veterans. Another useful resource is Military One Source. Military One Source counselors provide information on a wide range of topics relevant to you and your family. Military and veteran service organizations are good resources for assistance and guidance. Veteran service organizations provide advocacy, education, and other support needs for the unique issues facing veterans. Also, check into your local community's social service agencies, support groups, and self-help books. You can search online for these agencies and resources in your area. If you think you need more assistance or information regarding the effects of a career change, select yes. If not, select no. Eleven A, U.S. Department of Labor. DOL Sponsored Transition Assistance Employment Workshops and Service Sponsored Transition Workshops and Seminars. The TAP Employment Workshop gives you and your spouse a first-hand look at what to expect after military service and will ease your transition to civilian life. The workshop provides valuable training and information on various job search techniques, labor market information, resume and interview skills, and much more. It also will help with individual transition planning, employment assistance, small business information, priority of service for veterans and DOL programs, and many other services. Studies have indicated that people who attend TAP employment workshops gain an edge over other applicants and find employment sooner than those who do not participate. The TAP employment workshop is available on military installations. You can schedule a workshop with ACAP either online or with an ACAP center. If you cannot attend a workshop prior to separation, you can access the services after separation or attend career workshops at the state employment offices or one-stop centers. If you would like to attend a workshop, select yes. If you do not want to attend a workshop, select no. 11B. Verification of Military Experience and Training, VMET, DD Form 2586. 
The VMAT document is not an official transcript. However, it can help you translate military terminology and training into civilian terms and establish your capabilities with prospective employers. Your VMAT document, which is created from automated personnel records, can verify your military experience and training and is useful when discussing civilian occupations related to your military service. It will help as you write resumes, interview for jobs, negotiate credits at schools, or obtain licenses and certificates. It also can be beneficial if you apply to a college or vocational institute. The VMET document is available to all eligible service members online. You should download your VMET as soon as you decide to leave the service or at least 120 days before your separation date. If you want more information on VMET, select Yes. If not, select No. Eleven C, Civilian Occupations Corresponding to Military Occupations, ONET. ONET is the nation's primary source of occupational information. The ONET database contains information on hundreds of different occupations and describes job functions. ONET tells you what tools are used in specific jobs, explains the knowledge, skills, and abilities required for the position, and the type of training and education required. ONET also contains career exploration tools and a set of valuable assessment instruments for workers and students looking to find or change careers. It offers an ability, interest, and work importance profiler. ONET identifies industry standard keywords you can use when writing your resume. The database is available to you at no cost and is continually updated. ONET has a section entitled My Next Move that is useful for researching potential occupations. At this site, you can browse careers, search for careers by keywords, and even find careers you never imagined. If you want to learn more about ONET, select Yes. If not, select No. 11C1. Licensing, Certification, and Apprenticeship Information. Some federal, state, or local laws may require specific credentials to legally perform some jobs. Having a credential demonstrates to prospective employers that your skills are on par with your civilian peers and may improve your hiring prospects. There are two primary types of credentialing, licenses and certifications. State or federal laws or regulations define the standards that individuals must meet to become licensed. For these types of professions, Licenses are typically mandatory. Certifications are different. Non-governmental agencies, associations, and even private sector companies may grant certificates to individuals who meet predetermined qualifications. These qualifications, generally, are set by professional associations or by industry and product-related organizations. Certifications, typically, are optional credentials although some state licensure boards and some employers may require certification. Licenses and certifications can be expensive, but you may be able to use your GI Bill to help with the cost of credentialing. Visit the VA website for eligibility information and application forms. Many veterans leave the military with skills and experience that qualify them for comparable civilian occupations, sometimes with little or no additional training. You will have a clear advantage by having your licenses and certifications in order when you apply for jobs. If you would like more information about licenses and certifications, select yes. If not, select no. 11C1A, Department of Labor Career One Stop. The Department of Labor's Career One Stop website will help you explore credentialing requirements for various career opportunities. The credentialing section of the website has information on credentials, licenses, apprenticeships, and resources. If you would like more information about Career One Stop, select Yes. If not, select No. 11C 1B U.S. Army Credentialing Online the Credentialing Opportunities online website, COOL, explains how you can meet civilian certification and license requirements related to your military occupational specialty, or MOS. You can use this site 
to research civilian licenses and certifications relevant to your MOS and learn how to fill any gaps between your military experience and training and civilian credentialing requirements. You will find resources that can help you obtain civilian job credentials as well as explore financial assistance options. This assistance can help you pay for licenses and training. COOL includes enlisted and warrant officer MOSs. If you would like more information about COOL, select yes. If not, select no. 11C 1C U.S. Military Apprenticeship Program U.S. MAP U.S. MAP is a program for members of the United States Marine Corps, Navy, or Coast Guard. The program, which is recognized by the U.S. Department of Labor, enables members of these services to complete different civilian apprenticeship elements required under civilian apprenticeship programs in a structured formal training program. When the program is completed, U.S. MAP awards a DOL certificate of completion. If you would like more information about U.S. MAP, select yes. If not, select no. 11C, 1D, Defense Activity for Non-Traditional Education Support, Dante's. Dante's offers traditional and non-traditional education opportunities, ranging from certification and distance learning programs to tuition assistance, higher education, and examination programs. Dante's offers the College Level Examination Program, or CLEP, and the Service Member Opportunity College. CLEP provides students with the opportunity to demonstrate college-level achievement through a program of exams in undergraduate college courses. Students can receive college credit for what they already know, which saves tuition dollars and time. CLEP also helps satisfy proficiency requirements. Almost 3,000 colleges grant credit and or advanced standing for CLEP exams. Service Member Opportunity College is a consortium of more than 1,800 colleges and universities that provide educational opportunities for service members and their families. It also coordinates associate and bachelor degree programs offered by colleges and universities. These programs are available to members of the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard on installations worldwide and through distance learning. Dante's also offers an extensive series of examinations in college subjects that are comparable to the final or end-of-course examinations in undergraduate courses through the Subject Standardized Tests, or DSST, program. If you would like more information on Dante's, select Yes. If not, select No. 11C1E, U.S. Navy Credentialing Online. The Credentialing Opportunities Online, or COOL, website for Navy personnel relates civilian certification and license requirements to Navy ratings, jobs, designators, and occupations. The COOL website includes background information about civilian licensure and certification. It explains how to fill gaps between military training and experience and civilian credentialing requirements. COOL also includes resources for obtaining civilian job credentials and exploring financial assistance. If you want more information about Navy COOL, select yes. If not, select no. 11D, TurboTap. TurboTap is a comprehensive web portal for separation and retirement related issues. TurboTap provides links to resources for money management, veteran benefits, education and training assistance, and other information. It includes the complete DOD Career Decision Toolkit. TurboTap also provides information on healthcare and links to the service-specific transition websites for information and resources. Visitors to the website can register for virtual learning opportunities on transition-related topics. If you would like to learn more about TurboTap, select Yes. If not, select No. 11D1, Employment Hub. TurboTap Employment Hub is a resource available to you when you are ready to start your job search. This hub helps you translate military skills and experience into civilian terms, build a resume, and search for jobs. It also provides essential interview tips. In addition, the Employment Hub serves as a resource to link you with job search websites and databanks. 
For more information on TurboTap Employment Hub, select Yes. If you do not want further information, select No. 11D3, State Job Boards. State job boards are found on state websites. Job seekers can post information, such as a job experience profile and or resume, directly on most state job board websites. Employers can use their state site to search for job applicants. Job boards match individuals seeking employment and businesses seeking employees with one another to meet each other's needs. These resources are free to both employers and job seekers. If you want more information about state job boards, select Yes. If not, select No. 11D4, DOL, Real Lifelines, Recovery and Employment Assistance Lifelines. The Department of Labor's Recovery and Employment Assistance Lifelines, or Real Lifelines, provides veterans and transitioning service members who have been wounded and injured as a result of the war on terrorism with the resources they need to successfully transition to a rewarding career. Family members are also eligible. Developed by the Veterans Employment and Training Service, DOL Vets, the Real Lifelines Advisor provides valuable information and contacts for one-on-one -on -one employment assistance. It also provides online resources to assist wounded and injured transitioning service members and veterans as they reintegrate into the civilian workforce. While the advisor is primarily intended for use by wounded and injured transitioning service members, the site offers extensive information that can benefit all veterans. If you want more information about Real Lifelines, select Yes. If not, select No. 11E, Public and Community Service Opportunities, PACS. In planning for your transition, you might want to consider employment opportunities in nonprofit, public, and community service organizations. Some of these include schools, hospitals, law enforcement agencies, and social service agencies at national, state, and local levels. Public and community service jobs let you address compelling community issues and challenges in education, public safety, health and human services, the environment, and more. Transitioning service members have technical skills in areas of critical importance. Many already have security clearances required for some federal positions. There are as many reasons to serve as there are people who serve, from solving problems in your community to serving your country. If you are interested in continuing to serve America, you are encouraged to explore public or community service options. If you want more information about public and community service opportunities, select yes. If not, select no. 11F, Teacher and Teacher's Aid Opportunities, Troops to Teachers. Troops to Teachers offers assistance to active or reserve military personnel who want to pursue a career in public education as an elementary or secondary school teacher. Pending appropriations, qualified personnel may be eligible for a stipend to help pay for the cost of a teacher certification program or to receive a bonus to teach in a high-need school district. Financial assistance is available to certain military personnel. Service requirements, eligibility criteria, and application procedures can be found on the Troops to Teachers website. Generally, you must hold a baccalaureate or advanced degree from an accredited institution at the time you apply. Those interested in teaching at a vocational or technical school must have a minimum of one year of college or the equivalent with six years of experience in a vocational or technical field. If you want to know more about Troops to Teachers, select Yes. If not, select No. 11G, Federal Employment Opportunities. There are three main ways in which veterans who are interested in working for the federal government can apply for positions. They are the Merit Promotion Access Method, Special Hiring Authorities, and Competitive Appointments. The Merit Promotion Access Method, through the Veterans Employment and Opportunities Act, VEOA, gives eligible veterans access to jobs that otherwise would be available only to status employees. Eligible veterans can apply to agency merit promotion announcements that are open to candidates outside the agency but not to the general public 
as are competitive appointments. By applying to a merit promotion announcement, you compete only against other prior civil service candidates for a career or career conditional appointment in the competitive service. To be eligible, you must have separated under honorable conditions and be preference eligible. If you are interested in learning more about federal employment opportunities, select yes. If not, select no. 11G1 USA Jobs USA Jobs is the official job site of the United States federal government. It serves as the Office of Personnel Management, OPM, website. With this website, you can search for federal jobs and verify if you qualify for veterans' preference points and other federal benefit programs. It also includes helpful information on how to submit an application packet. If you would like more information about USA Jobs, select yes, if not, select no.